Hi, VR designer Chris here, and it's time. I think it's time to dive into Kerbal Space Program, so I opened Steam, added Kerbal Space Program plus the DLCs to my cart, purchased it, and started the download. So I started a new game in sandbox mode and brought in the Saturn V and tried to launch it. If you didn't believe I was a total noob, here is the evidence. The thing is, this is a channel where I talk about The Expanse. No, not Star Wars, The Expanse. So I imported the Rossi and used cheats to throw it into orbit. And all I have to say is, wow, this is really cool. You can also get the Rossi to fire torpedoes as well. And I was able to explode the torpedoes on myself. I don't really know what is going on when it comes to controls, but I have to say this is pretty awesome and I am having fun. I also figured out how to turn on the thrusters and away we go. Maybe I should maneuver away from the planet, so I try to turn the Rossi around and I want to go to this moon, but I think it's going to take a while. Again, I don't know what I'm doing. So I gave up trying to go to the moon with the Rossi and imported a UNN ship that is too big for the hangar. I used cheats to put it into orbit. And I have to ask you something. Does this ship look familiar to you? If you've been watching my live streams, this is actually a recreation of the unused Agatha King design I've been building in Blender. This ship was made by Apache Bmix, and I'll leave a link to the Steam community page with the ship in the description. Guys, please check it out because I think it's really cool. I'm super impressed with this build, but there must be other Expanse ships designed by the Kerbal Space community, right? So I typed in MCRN and found the Doniger. Time to import it into the hangar, and here she is. I tried to launch the Donny without much luck. I don't really know what I'm doing, so again, I used cheats to put the Donny into orbit. And here comes the juice. I'm also impressed with this design and I'm having fun flying around with the Donnie. I have to say too that the detail on the ship is pretty awesome. Again, this is another very impressive build. All right, let's find some more Expanse ships. So I typed in UNN and found a Leonidas class battleship and placed it into orbit. Uh, okay, not sure what happened. I think I fired some missiles or something. I think this build is pretty interesting, but it looks different than the Leonidas class from the show, but I think that's perfectly okay. It could be a design from references from the book or maybe from the tabletop game. Not everything needs to look like the TV show. Also, firing all those missiles at the same time was pretty freaking cool. And now we are doing a hard burn. Let's go. I imported the UNN one and this looks really accurate to the ship we see on screen. Now the thing is, there is no way to control the ship. The creator did not put any thrust or like movement mechanics, but I'm going to put it into orbit and just have it chill. All right, I'm gonna type in Razorback and see what happens. And oh, that is pretty awesome. I really like what this person did with this design. I think they got the three fold symmetry on point. And this time I am not going to use any cheats because I am committed to a launch. So I put her on the runway and started the engines and we have liftoff. And I'm not sure if I just like leave it or do I need to maneuver the ship? I'm not sure what is the best angle. Uh, maybe I need to adjust the trajectory a little bit. Okay, um, this is not going good. I tried to adjust the trajectory and uh, oh no, oh no, this is this is not good. Uh, not not good at all. Uh, look at their faces. They even know that something is not right. Oh no. 
what do I need to do to fix this? Oh no, oh no. Can I fix this? Like, what? Oh my. Someone please help me. Help these poor fellows. Like, look at their faces. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Well, that happened. And that was my first time playing Kerbal Space Program. I had so much fun and I'm trying something new on the channel. Let me know if you like this video and if you want me to make more videos similar to this. I also want to thank Apache Beamix for helping me out with the mods and generally how to play this game. If you want to support me and the channel, please consider checking out my game on Steam called the Indigo Parallel. It's a weird psychedelic immersive sim available on Steam for both Mac and PC. And thanks for watching.